What's a vector, you ask? And why do we need a whole database for them? Think of it this way. When you and I look at an apple, we don't see A-P-P-L-E, we see a red round fruit. Our brains convert that visual into meaning. AI works very similarly. When it looks at words or images, it converts them into what we call vectors or embeddings, essentially a list of numbers that captures the meaning. For example, the words dog and puppy would have very similar vectors because they're related concepts. Dog and skyscraper would have very different vectors. A vector database is simply a special database designed to store and search these numbers very quickly and find things that are very close to it. So let me show you an example. So let's say we wanted to represent a specific word by its meaning. And the meaning is gonna be into a specific list of numbers. In this case, we're gonna have a list of two numbers. So let's pick an example. The word dog is gonna be here. I'm just picking something random, right? So it's value three and four. So dog has a, num a list of number of three, four. Now let's take puppy. Puppy might be very similar because very similar meaning. So that would be puppy. Now that forms a group, a cluster of meaning, which is very similar. So you could find human's best friend, you could find a lot of different words within that group and they would all roughly mean the same thing. Now, if you take cats, well, cats is probably very close, but not the same, right? It's a little further than puppy. So you might have cats that is part of pets, but not part of the dog cluster. So you represent each point by their meaning and you could have skyscraper, as I said before, that would be here. You could have podcast that would be there. You could have murder mystery being close to podcast because it's in similar meaning, but not the exact same. And each point is represented by different numbers. That's exactly what a vector is. You just put a set of numbers, just like dog. This one is just an example with three, four. So now imagine the exact same principle with 1500 numbers. And that's exactly what's happening. And you could put any chunk of text out there and essentially have a set of numbers. And if someone asks something that is similar meaning, then it can find that very quickly. So let me give you an analogy. Imagine a giant library. A traditional database is like searching library by exact book titles or by the author. If you search for Dogs 101, you'll only find the books that actually have that exact title in it. Or maybe you can look for a partial, something like you have dogs in the name. Now, with a vector database, it's like searching by topic. If you search for human's best friend, it might show you books about dog training, puppy health, and anything else that might be related.